Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cynthia and I am a part-time reseller. And today I'm gonna go over my sales from March 16th through the 31st. So I have everything written down here in my notebook. I made a total of 45 sales. Two of those were on eBay, two were on Mercari, one was on Facebook and 40 were on Poshmark for a grand total of $1,556 gross sales. This is before cost of goods and fees. So let's start with eBay. First sale I made were these Mephisto runoff black leather sneakers in a size 11. These sold for $35. And um, the buyer paid $21.20 in shipping. Um, on eBay, you're able to see which shipping method is cheaper. So I went with FedEx and it only came out to $10.43. So I actually made $10.77 from the shipping of this item. And I paid $15 for the shoes and eBay charged me $7.04 in fees. So I ended up profiting $23.73 on these shoes. I normally get more from Mephisto, but for whatever reason, these weren't that high of a demand. So that's why I took a lower offer on them. Next sale are these Adidas X Dame 3 basketball sneakers in a size 12. I thrifted these for $15. They sold on eBay for $40 after the $7.28 fees um, and $2.06 credit of shipping. I made a profit of $19.78 on these sneakers. Next, Mercari sales. I made two. First, it was this Kate Spade Slevy Nylon Navy Blue Shoulder Bag. This came to me in a thread up name brand box. And after, oh, it sold for $56. I forgot to say that. Um, after the $7.52 fees, I made $48.48. Next were these wig, Wigwam Unisex Wool Gray Hiking Socks. Came to me in a thread up men's box. Sold for $12. After fees, I made $10.15. Next were these Olakai Nohia Mesh Green Slip-On Loafers in a size 13. I sold these for $34. And after fees, I made $31.60. And my cost of goods was $6. So I ended up profiting $25.60. Okay, and moving on to Poshmark. Um, first item I sold was this Victoria's Secret Perfect Shape Bra in a size 38D. This was a Poshery offer that was accepted for $24. After fees, I made $17.48. My cost of goods was $4. So I profited $13.48. Next was this Kate Spade Double Zipper Wallet. It was another Poshery offer that was accepted and sold for $32. After fees, I made $23.88 and I got five stars. The buyer said, timely shipping, perfect product. Thank you. Next, Kate Spade, black Safiano leather jewelry travel box. This was really cute. I considered keeping it to store my rings, but I decided to list it. It came to me in a thread name brand box and it sold for $29. That was a buyer offer. And after fees, I made $23.20. And they left me five stars and said, Perfect condition and quick shipping, thank you. Next were these Rothy's, the flat salt honeycomb loafers in a size eight and a half. Came to me in a thread up shoe box, sold for $75. After fees, I made 60. Next was this Kate Spade, Ace of Spades, white gold bangle bracelet. Came to me in a thread up jewelry box and it sold for $19. After fees, I made $15.20. Next was this Rothy's The Point Mink Taupe Loafers in a size 6.5, sold for $80. Or, yeah, $80. After fees, I made $64. Next was this Madewell Boardwalk Brown Ankle Sandals in a size 7.5, sold for $20. After fees, I made $16, and these came to me in the Thread Up shoe box. Next was this. Vintage denim dress, the lace up back in a size large. I've had this for a very, very long time. 
and I think it didn't help that I didn't um, photograph it on an actual mannequin with like the face and everything. I think that would have helped it sell better, but it did finally sell for $25. After fees, I made 20 and I believe I paid like $8 for it at the thrift store. The buyer left me five stars and said, as described, clean, intact, nice coloring, and unwrinkled. Next um, was these Vans Classic Tumble White Sneakers in a size six and a half. These were um, shoes that I was selling for my sister. So I didn't include it in the total that I gave you guys in the beginning, but I decided to just let you guys know that I did sell these for her for $40 after fees. Um, they gave me $32, which was what I gave to her. Next were these Bernardo Santina Gladiator Brown Leather Sandals and, and I didn't put the size, but they sold for $40. After fees, I made $32. I did pay $15 for these, so I did pay up, but I still made a $17 profit, so that was good. Next was another Posture VA offer that was accepted. These Dooney and Burke Black Nylon Hobo um, bag sold for $58. After fees, I made $44.68, and this came to me in a name brand thread up um, handbag box. Next was this Lily Pulitzer for Target Beach Charm Gold Bracelet. It was a Posture VA offer that was accepted for $31. After fees, I made $23.08. And I thought that this wouldn't sell for much because it was for Target, but it still sold for $31, so that was good. Next is this Koi Brass Fish Figure Decor. I paid $5 at the thrift store for this sold for 40 after fees i made 32 so i did profit 27 dollars and the buyer left me five stars and said great seller fast shipping next was this torrid purple tie-dye chalice maxi dress in a size 2x i really enjoy selling torrid plus size dresses i thrifted this one for eight dollars sold for 42 after fees i made 33.60 so after my cost of goods my profit was $25.60. Next was this Johnny Was Mallorca Embroidered Scoop Neck Shirt in a size medium. It's very rare for me to find Johnny Was, so I was very happy to find um, this and another blouse that has previously sold. This one sold for $63. After fees, I made $50.40, and after my cost of goods of $6, I profited $44.40. Next was another Posture VA offer that was accepted. Were these Adidas Gazelle Pink Suede Sneakers in a size eight and a half. And they sold for 40. After fees, I made $30.28 and they came to me in a thread of shoebox. Next was this Mossimo Supply Company Green Hamley Long Sleeve Shirt in a size small. This came to me in a thread up t-shirt box and the buyer accepted the Posture VA offer of $13. After fees, I made $8.33. Next uh, was this bundle of Skims tank tops, which if you saw my previous What's Sold video, I sold them in that video, but I accidentally sent the buyer the wrong um, thing. I Instead of the shirts, I sent her some sneakers. So I let Poshmark know and the buyer sent me the shoes back. I sent her the tank tops and then she offered or offered she opened a return saying that they smelled really bad of like a perfume or fabric softener and wanted to return them but Poshmark doesn't allow returns for that kind of a thing so it was denied so I ended up getting my funds $40 after fees I got $32 Next was this Victoria's Secret striped pink and white makeup pouch. This came to me at Thread Up Fun Box and the Posture V offer was accepted. So it sold for 18 and after fees, I made $12.68. Next was the CNC California Stripe Colorful 100% cashmere sweater in a size medium. This was my first time finding this brand. Decided to try it out. Sold for $30. After fees, I made $24. And after my cost of goods of $7, I profited $17. Next were the Saucony Rite 8 sneakers in a size 9.5. Sold for $30.
after fees I made $24 and after my cost of goods of $10 I profited $14. Next were these lamb L-A-M-B black suede peep toe heels in a size 6. This is a Gwen Stefani line. Sold for $60 after fees I made $48 and after my cost of goods of $10 I profited $38. Next were these Tavi Noor uh, Savvy Gray Leaf Yoga Socks, non-slip, and they had a grip sole. These came to me in a threaded phone box and they sold for $10. After fees, I made $7.05. Next were these um, Michael Kors Navy Kendrick Lace Up Wedge Booties in a size 6.5. I thrifted these for $9. They sold for $60. After fees, I made $48. And after my cost of goods, I profited $39. Next was this Anthropology Eloise Silk Sweater Chemise Dress in a size large. This was new with tags, sold for $50. After fees, I made $40. And after my $15 cost of goods, I profited $25. Next were these Spank Seamless Black Ankle Side Zip Leggings. Um, these were new with tags in a size medium. And they came to me... Um, and it, it says that they came to me in a thrift phone box, but that's actually wrong. I did thrift these for $6 and they sold for $58. After fees, I made $44.68 and after the cost of goods, I made $38.68. Next was this long champ, long chomp, large lip pliag nylon tote fold away bag sold for $79. After fees, I made $63.20. I did thrift these this bag for $8, so my profit was $55.20. Next was this Diane Von Furstenberg Dara Striped Sweater. This came to me in a Thread Up Rent the Runway box and sold for $37. After fees, I made $29.60 and the buyer left me five stars and said, excellent seller item just as described. Love it. Next was this Express Black Metallic Opaque Tights in a size medium large, sold for $9. After fees, I made $4.33, and the buyer left me five stars and said, lovely, many thanks. Next was this Mickey Mouse American T-shirt dress nightgown. That's how I described it because it was longer than an actual T-shirt. Sold for $15. After fees, I made $12, and my cost of goods was $4, so I made an $8 profit. And the buyer left me five stars and said, fast shipping, item as described, excellent seller, thank you. Next was this Secret Treasures Unicorn Fuzzy Slippers in a size extra large or an 1112. This was new with tags, came to me in a thread up phone box, sold for $20. And after fees, I made 16. Next was this Min and Mon New York Octo Twins Charm Leather Keychain, uh, sold for $25. After fees, I made 20. And this this <laughs> this came to me in a thread of phone box next was this victoria's secret push-up uplift semi semi demi size 34 double or triple d uh sold for 15 dollars after fees i made 12. i paid four dollars for this bra so my cost after the cost of goods i made eight dollar profit next was this girlfriend carolina whole lot of love high-rise skinny jeans in a size 26 Sold for $70. After fees, I made $56. I thrifted these for eight and I profited $48. Next, I sold this uh, Levi's 511 2930 Slim Fit Stretchy Jeans in a size 29. This came to me in a thread up men's box. Sold for $30. And after fees, I made $24. And the buyer left me five stars and said, thank you. I love it. Next was this Disney Family Feud board game, which I thought when I picked it up at the thrift store that I was brand new, but it it wasn't. So I did pay $6 for the game and I got an offer of $14, which I decided to take. So after fees, I made $11.05 and after my cost of goods, I only profited $5.05, but that was fine. I would rather sell it than have it hanging around. Next was this Lululemon Grand Metal Vent Tech men's short sleeve shirt in a size extra large. Um, this sold for $30 and after fees I made $24. My cost of goods was $3 so I profited $21. Next was this iPlay Swim Diaper 
in a size 24 months. This was a Pacheve offer of $9 that was accepted after fees. I made $4.33. I did pay a dollar for this at the thrift store, so I profited $3.33. Next were these Michael Kors Hastings suede khaki wedge sandals in a size 6.5. These sold for $25. After fees, I made $20, and they came to me in a thread up shoebox. And the last sale was this Kate Spade pink pebbled leather wristlet wallet. This came to me either in a fun box or in a name brand box. I can't remember, but it did come to me in a thread up box. Sold for 14 after fees, I made $11.05. So I did everything, like I said, it added up to 1,556 before cost of goods and fees. And my goal for this month was to get to 5,000 gross sales. And unfortunately I didn't get there and I missed it by a lot. I only did about 3,100 in gross sales. So that is gonna be my, still my goal for the next coming month of April. And I did ha also put a goal last month to list at least two handbags a day, which I also didn't get, but at least I did list some and some did sell. So I am still happy about that. I did have a week where family came and then the last week of March, I kind of slacked and I didn't really list. So that was on me, but hopefully April will be better. And I'm very happy with any and all sales. And this is definitely something that I enjoy doing for fun and for extra money. So let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite sale was and how were your sales. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.